What is going on, everybody? Bobby Fi with my man Eric G. Tabor. We're going to be talking about the Genesis Open this week. Uh, I have a bunch of friends going. I'm actually was supposed to try to go and thought I'd have some time off because the stuff, football stuff, but I've got some family stuff I got to take care of. So don't think I'm going to be able to go, but it would be really fun to go because it's right near me. Um, but it should be a fun tournament. Uh, finally have actual real players playing on the, the, the tour again. It was a, kind of a cool week last week. I just sort of towed my way back in, but I think I'm going to get back more, a little more heavily invested this week into the golf. So Sheets, how you, how you been doing with the golf and then, uh, any sort of overall thoughts on this, on this field, on this course, anything? I did well with the, with the, the, uh, the higher buy-ins last week. I did, uh, hang on to cash with five of six in this, in the signature hole, which was, which was really fortunate. Um, and I did, I finished him like in the top 20 in the single entry and the bigger single entry. So that was good. Uh, and then he didn't do that well, but uh, the bigger buy-ins I, I, I did, I did decently. Um, what, have you ever been to uh to PGA? Um, I've, I've, I've been to, no, I haven't been to the event. I, I, I did a, like a, they, they let us walk around because we knew somebody who, who ran a club a long, long time ago, back when Tiger was playing, but that was pretty much it. And we just walked around for like a couple hours. It wasn't like a, regular I, I i i know you have plans or whatever yeah i really would recommend you going to a yeah event at least once okay it's okay, so man. awesome i happen to feel as though and i've said this before that and i i went to my first one just like five six years ago um that it the, the gap between what that's like live versus uh on tv is probably the sport that's just the widest the fact that you could literally like be three feet from these guys and you could basically go wherever you want on the course. And, and not to mention, it's a nice day. You get like five miles of walking in too. Mm -hmm. It's uh, I, 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 if it were me, I would go on a Thursday. That's I love going Thursdays on the first day. It's not quite as a zoo. And, and, uh, and uh, so I, that, that's my recommendation too. I appreciate it. Um, no, that's, 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 uh, that's, that's good to know. Like, uh, I, I, I definitely am interested in going. It's not for lack of interest. I'm definitely going to give it a try to see if I can. Um, let's pull up your screen and we'll go, we'll go, uh, by different tiers here. I'm trying to double check a couple of things. Cause I want, I was looking at some, some, I had some, I had some mixed results on, on former course history things that I've, that I've got to do a little more digging into. Um, anyway, uh, with that said, we're, we'll go tier by tier, and then we'll do our, our little game at the end. Um, what have you got in the above? You know, who are all these guys look good, and they all look like they're going to have some ownership above ten k. What what do you, what do you think of these guys, and, and how are you ranking them? Well, I think even eyeballing it without even looking at projections will give you the answer. And when you look at the projections, it, it kind of confirms it. I mean, McElroy, you're just getting a discount over these other two guys, so he's probably going to probably going to be the most popular of them all. Um, uh, and he's projecting to be the best play. Uh, so uh, that's where I'm at. I have Rory the best, then Rom, then Scheffler, and then a big, wow, it's so weird to see this, but a really big drop for me to Thomas, which, uh, and he played really, really well, I think mm -hmm. round four. Uh, yeah. So that's, that's kind of dangerous to say, but, uh, but uh, I do have Rory right at the top. And as we get through the, the pricing um will go tier by tier but i'll just say that uh the 7k range which for me is usually like pretty flooded with like great plays they're not rated quite as high for me the way the way at least my sheets kind of operate which means that it's going to be more difficult to get to these top guys than it usually is which is going to make for an interesting dynamic but i do happen to like rory the best of the top of the top guys yeah Interesting. Um, I, I have a very hard time differentiating the top three, especially. <laughs> so I'm struggling. Uh, I always feel like an idiot anytime I don't have Scheffler or Rom as my priority, especially Scheffler. But, it, you know, if, if if I don't know, I, I like all three of those guys. Um, I, I If I was right now mass entering, I probably would have like similar amounts of each of each one of the three. And then I, I would include a little bit of Justin Thomas as well. I'm also okay if you wanted to skip this range because I do think it's a really strong 9K range and it's a pretty strong 8K range today. Just if you wanted to try to do something a little bit different because I do think almost everybody's going to have at least one of the 10K guys. Do you think that's – or at least one of the 9,900 and above because a lot of people will play Xander uh, and then Man Finau. 
All right, uh, let's get into those that that range with the, with the Xander and the Finau. Who have you got rated the best here? Because the guy who I like the most is looking like he's going to be the lowest on, which is always nice. Well, it's interesting because I I, I like someone who's a, who's a very strange play for me because it's a guy I almost I really almost never play. But as as you mentioned, the nine K guys are going to look I think pretty good because, like you said, it is tough to get to the ten fives, and these guys are all really good golfers. I think the guy that does stand out. Um, even though he missed the cut, is 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 can't lay at the flat nine k. Um, it's just really super duper cheap. He's he's at home <laughs> for openers, right? Um, and coming off the missed cut, whatever. Uh, he rates as you know as far as value goes, just to be the best. I I think he's going to get ownership. Um, Finau, I have I have rated next Xander. For those of you who are, the, again, we've we've had a lot of subscribers and a lot of guys come into the. Two day fest community since the last time we've done one of these. Just something mm-hmm. that I feel we should always, I should always kind of stress is that Xander Shuffle always ends up a little more owned than uh, than yeah. he projects to be owned. So if you see like uh, Xander Shuffle, ooh, it's eight percent. It's not going to be that way. I, I currently have him at thirteen. Sounds about more more reasonable, which means it's probably going to be sixty. Um, but the guy that I have that I want to play the most. It's a guy, he, and it's it's really just because of my projections, okay? Because whenever I have a guy who always just rates just terrible, I just keep on. I pick this guy we do it we to to miss the cut like a hundred times in a row in our game, and now he's actually showing up as kind of a reasonable play, considering how loaded like this range is. Like can't lay at nine k and the fee now. I'm going to take my shot with with Morikawa, okay? And and I and I it's literally a guy I never play, okay? And, and and I think that the twelve percent ownership on him, I think that's going to be. I think it's going to be lower than that. I think it's just way too easy really? to save three hundred to play to to play Cantlay. Um, so that's that's that that's my uh, that's my opinion. Uh, listen, if he ends up twenty percent, then I'll probably kick myself, whatever. But uh, I, I I do I do like Marikawa as my favorite the nine Ks. So my favorite is by far Max Homa. Um, I don't even think it's close. I'm really confused at why he – it's just because his price, people aren't used to paying this price for him. Uh, he won this tournament two years ago. Uh, he's a local guy. He knows this course better than anybody. Uh, I will take Homa, and I think you'll get absolutely his 100% best effort. Played a good first two rounds last week. I really struggled on the back – on the weekend – um, but I'm I'm big on Homa this week. He's my favorite play, and he sh- should be the lowest owned guy in this, except for maybe Sungjae will probably be around him. Um, so I have it rated Homa, Kaitley, Morikawa, Finau, Xander in terms of the guys I like. I also want to include some Sam Bird. So that's why I said if you wanted to sort of just you know pray and that, that, that the very top guys don't get there, these guys aren't all that different. I mean, it wasn't all that long. It's not that you know not that long ago we're paying the same price for Morikawa we are for these guys at the top. Not that long ago, we're playing the same for Cantley and these guys at the top. Um, I like Homa because of where it is. I like, you know, Finau is, has looked really good so far. Um, so I, I, I'm into this 9K range quite a bit, and I'm going to spread out. But, but Homa is definitely my number one play on the slate. Um, I do like the Sam Burns and Homa combination uh, to maybe, maybe get it done this week. And, and I agree with what you said about Cantley. Really frustrating because, honestly, I, you know, it didn't end up mattering because I, I had I had Rom in those tournaments, not Scheffler. But it looked for a while on Sunday, like, I mean, these tournaments, these guys were like top 50 of massive tournaments with a five out of six. And I just really thought I had a shot because I had, I had four of the top, the top six guys at one point and just, just a little disappointed he didn't make the cut. Yeah. That was my, my signature hole. I cashed, I mean, I cashed with, 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 with a little bit of, of, of room too. I got like 80th or something and I had Cantlay in that lineup. You yeah. Know? Oh, who knows? Brutal. Um, all right, well, let's get down into another, I think, a very loaded range. Um, I I like a lot in this range, so I'm going to let you go first because I I mean, I could literally make a, I, I think I kind of want to make a case for basically everybody in this range. And this is why I said maybe, maybe even skip the very, very top guys um, because I, I think you're, I think these are, this is pretty loaded, right? There are some really good golfers with an eight in front of their salary. Uh, I'll just going to go, I'm going to go through, you know, scoring the projections, I have two guys that are rated kind of at the top, one being Cameron Young um, and the other being Victor Hovland. Uh, uh, like both of them, uh, the lowest the lowest owned guy I have just below them is I can't I can't imagine Hill is going to be low owned. But we'll talk about this video later. But 
Will's Alex Horace at 8,700. I have him at under 10%. But used to be, everybody used to play him every day. But this is a this whole he's, field he's is loaded. Playing. This whole field is loaded. This whole range is loaded. You know, Tom Kim looks good at eighty five hundred. Jason Day, he looks good at eighty four. Hideki eighty two. I mean, literally all those guys. And like you said, you could make a case for any everybody. So I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave it those. One more though. I, you have you can't leave out. Fitzpatrick from the mix either. And I probably left off half of them, which are also good also. So the more I'm thinking about this, may, maybe, maybe Rory just can just can win without me today. You know, I mean, there's so many good plays here at nine and eight K that uh, maybe you just don't need to play those top guys. Yep. Uh, I, that's exactly my thoughts. Um, I, I love, uh, I really love Hovland here. Um, I like Spieth a lot, actually. I, I'm surprised that no one's on him. I, I actually think, I mean, Played much better last weekend. Um, what did he end up like third or whatever? Yeah. Um, somewhere in that range. I I, I like I want to take advantage of some of these guys who maybe a little bit uh I don't know, just just getting the the raw end of it. I think I think Hovland and Spieth are cheaper than we're used to getting them at. Obviously, Zalatoris as well. Love Cam Young here. So it's again, I I almost am not playing Tom Kim just because I like everybody around him so much. Uh I Jason Day was my my sneaky play. For, well, my my guy who I thought would have a monster season this year. Been off to a great start. Um, and then Fitz is too cheap and Matsuyama's too cheap. And even Terrell Hatton is too cheap. Then you have Justin Rose who's played really well the last time we saw him. And he's at, he's down at 8K. There's a lot of guys in this range. And I think this 9 and 8K range is where I'm just going to be very heavy on. I don't have my final decisions of who I'm going to have the most. I think Hovland and Spieth I've got as the guys who I'm, I'm sort of buckled into the most in this range. But again, I'm not going to fault you for like any, any side you take. There's so many good plays yep. in that 8K range. Yep. Um, even Adam Scott down at 8K, by the way, too. There's just a lot, everybody in this range I have a little bit of interest in. And then we get into, so let's do the 7,500 to, to, to 8K first, because I don't have a ton of guys that I'm interested in outside of Taylor Montgomery, Corey Connors, and the Gala. And need, none of those are really, really strong interests for me. And from 75 yeah. to 8. Yeah, 7,500 and above. I agree with you as far as the top option, uh, Taylor Montgomery. Um, I have him rated as the top 7,500 and up. Uh, and it's not even rated that high, if you want to know the truth. Um, yeah. I usually have a guy in my top 10 from the 7K range just because the way, you know, these things work. And I don't even have anybody. Um, so Montgomery's the top one. And then the other only other two guys that I even have in the top panel here is um uh Keegan Bradley, who just it doesn't seem like you want to play him in this field. Um Seamus Power. You know what will play in this field though at 7,500? A guy can really hit it freaking far. I mean, he was he was pretty good for me uh over the last couple of weeks is Keith Mitchell. Yeah. Um, so he'll he'll he he's he's good. So I so I think Keith Mitchell can replace Keegan Bradley as my as the, like the second one. So let's go Montgomery. Mitchell is the top one, seventy five hundred. Yeah, I I, uh, I I'm good. I have Montgomery. Uh, I, you know, like I said, I made my three, but I think Montgomery Connors are probably my two favorite. But I'm I'm totally good with Keith Mitchell as well. Um, been playing playing pretty well so i i agree he's got upside and and even had win i don't want to totally write off the out of the mix i'm not like if i was building 150 i wouldn't like cross him off or anything um all right 7k to 7500 um i'll go real quick on this one because i don't have a ton of things i like i know he hasn't played a little bit lately but billy horschel at 7200 i have a little bit interest in um kitiyama alex norin and I'm going to just throw in a Tiger Woods lineup. I'm just going to say that right now. That's going to happen. I don't care. It's LA. It's his thing. Um, but, my, but my favorite is going to be, no surprise to you, Tommy Fleetwood. So I have five seven, five guys that I'll be interested in under this uh, range, and you mentioned most of them. Alex Noren, uh, Tommy Fleetwood. Then I got three others that you didn't mention, so we'll throw those in. Uh, Patrick Rogers, 7K flat. Mm. KH KH Lee 7400 and Tom Hoagie at 7300 and I will not be playing um Tiger Woods but I'll be rooting. <laughs> All right. Um I I'm going to throw in one more name that I forgot to mention and that's Scott Stallings. I don't mind either. Oh, but that was your pick last week, right? Yeah, he was my guy and then he just he just kept having the up and down rounds where he couldn't quite get the really really big performance out of him, but he was really good. 
um, for the most part. Certainly when you consider these prices. All right. You got any cheapos? All right. Well, okay. Our boy Grillo is down at 6,900. <laughs> he is, isn't he? Um, I'll take a shot on Grillo. Uh, it's literally, I mean, you know, it's funny. Other people have won all these tournaments with Grillo. I've literally, he's never, never for me, like made the cut. <laughs> like, That's really funny. Blows me up every week, but I, I don't care. I'll take a shot. I think Alex Smalley is reasonable, but I think Johnny Vegas is actually like a good play. And I don't think that he should be as cheap as he is. Um, so Vegas is my favorite down at the bottom. Uh, I also like Sam Ryder. Um, I'm trying to look at who else I have on my list here. Sam Ryder. I think Aaron Rye is a reasonable uh, large field play. Um, trying to see. You know, you know, if you want to play these 10Ks, I mean, you might, you okay. might, you Sorry. might have to do this. Yeah. yeah, I got one. I got one for you. Okay, go ahead. And that would be Callum Tarrant. Uh, oh, I like that. Yeah, he's the only guy yeah. I have. He's the only guy I have rated decently in the six K range at all, and and he's uh he's been in my lineups before, so familiarity breeds something or other. So, what about Doc Redman at sixty one hundred and Smotherman at six K? <laughs> That's pretty. Cheap. Yeah, I mean, it, like they, remember these are guys that we played in much weaker fields. That's yeah, um, yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, I'm looking down. I mean, this is this is the this is the really the. Real PGA, man. I mean, you look at down some of these names that are like good golfers that are down. I see Cam Davis at 7K flat, you know, like uh, you got Russell Knox even at 6,500 or something like that. We got the freaking general at 6,400, you know, 6, like these are, we can, we can, my lineup will build itself very easily because I've got, I've got, we've got the general at 64 and then we've got 7,300 for Fleetwood. So, you know, there's going to be some of that in my, my you, got, you got, you got bad attitude. Streelman at 6,200, you know, there, there are, there are guys here. Um, but the reason why they're down there is, I mean, you got like all those guys in the 8K range who are five strokes better. You know what I mean? Like it's, uh, yeah. uh, it's, uh, it's good. Listen, it's going to be a great event. Um, it, it, it is. And, and I, I think it's, I mean, I, I want to just throw out that Adam Svensson is a good golfer and he's 6,500 also. Stephen okay. Yeager. Um, I think I actually do. I'm, I'm going to force in some of these guys, whether to go with my nine and 8K builds or even if I want to spend up. I think I, I do think that there's enough good golfers down in the 6K range that I don't see these guys being a whole lot different than the 7K range. Um, and you mentioned Streelman, Mark Hubbard. All these guys are like just they're just not that much different than the guys at 7,200. So I'm I'm very happy to take a shot on these guys instead. And maybe uh, maybe what you said was was more what I'm doing than I thought when we first started talking is that maybe staying a little bit away from the 7K range and uh, and and it's just loaded up at the top. So trying to get two or three in the 8,500 plus, and then uh, m maybe get down to one or two in the, uh, in the 6k range. And that's how I'm going to build to build this week. I like, I like that initial build you have there. It's too bad. We don't have any 5,500 golfers. Yeah. Maybe I can play. Make me 3,000. <laughs> sheets, sheets is in there 5,500. We're in. Sheets in for 3,000. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. All right. Well, good luck to everybody this week. Um, wait, wait, wait. Halt. Oh, my God. We didn't even do our game. What am I doing? I'm sorry. Yeah. So wait. So this is what we're going to do. So we're going to go through the various tiers. We're going to pick our favorite play golfer from each tier. And that's going to be the we're, – we're, not from each tier. What we're going to do is first we're going to go through who we think is going to win the, the tournament, where we each get one. Then we're going to pick who under 10K is going to finish top five. Then who under 9K is going to finish top 10 under 8K to finish in the top 20, then an under 7K to make the cut, and then an over 9K to miss the cut. So why don't we start with you, Bobby, and go uh, who is going to win? And you're not limited to the 10K right. guys, but but who do you think is going to win? I'm golf? taking Homa to win. You are taking Homa to win. I will be taking... Yeah, let's 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 go. I'll do this. I'll do the same thing. Uh, I will be taking Colin Mora College. Okay. All right. There's that. Those were. I was a, I probably going to be like. My and as a matter of fact, I'm going to look at the. I, I have to bet like twenty dollars on both of them, on yeah. on Homa and Colin Morikawa in the sports books. I you probably get some decent odds on Homa actually. It's got to be fifty to one, right? I think thirty five probably is where he's at. He won this tournament two years ago. He's been okay. playing well. Um. I'm just guessing though. All right, so 9K range. I already named my winner, but I guess I'll I'll pick my other one. You already named Morikawa, so we both named a couple 9K guys. 
Uh, I am going to say that the next guy that I like here, uh, it's a little bit more the, the, the safety one, sort of deciding between Finau and Chauflet. I do like Morikawa, but uh, let's let's go with Finau um, as my other one. And I will go with Cantlay. And you will go with Cantlay. Okay. We are loaded so up. Now, okay, so right. Under 9K to make top 10. Under oh, 9K. You, you would pick anybody, man. Anybody here. Like, Literally everybody here, I feel like, has a really good chance at it. Um, ugh. It's a top 10. I'm going to go Hovland. pick one. Just got to pick one. I'm going Hovland. I will go Fitzpatrick. Okay, so Fitz is always a good bet for a top 10. All right. Um, uh, this one's kind of tough. Well, you're 8K to make top 20. I mean, like, it's going to be tough for anybody down there to make the top 20. I mean, they're going to, but we just it's yeah. hard to project that for today. Um, I will go just because... I feel like being a thief. Now nah, I'm not going to be a thief. Don't be a thief. <laughs> I'm going to go with with Tom Hoagie. Oh my god, that was not even one I thought of. That's actually a good call. Uh, all right, um, I am going to go with Tommy Fleetwood. Yeah, he's literally right under Hoagie in my in my board here. You know, right. Uh, and then one uh, the under seven k to make to make the cut. Well, I've got a lot of under seven k's, but the ones uh, the one I'm going to bet to make the cut, I'm going to go with. I think I'm going to go with Sam Ryder. Sam, Sam, the discount man. Yeah, I'm going to go with. Hold on, I'm uh, going with Johnny Vegas. I'm sorry, Johnny Vegas. Johnny Vegas, and I'm going to go with Callum Terran. Callum Terran, uh, I love it. Uh, so. Now we need a guy. A little okay. shout out. I'm going to start a shout out to Kazire. Just, 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 just because I didn't want to like leave him alone. We're gonna go okay. We're gonna go with over nine k to miss the cut. Over nine k to miss the cut. Um, well, you know what I actually want to do though. I didn't, didn't circle. I do want to play more speed, so I want to make sure I remember to do that. Make it a note. Okay. Um, over nine k to miss the cut. Yep. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, um. My the most likely to miss the cut is the guy I picked to win the tournament. That's right. It's rough. Uh, I guess I'll go Sam Burns, who I also love this week, but whatever. I, I just don't think most of I, I really think it's hard for most of these guys to miss the cut. Yeah, that was that was that was some thievery there. Um oh, my bad. That's fine. Uh so I'll just go with my next one. It's this guy literally has no chance to miss the cut. But actually this guy does have a chance to miss the cut. Uh I will take uh oof, Sanjay M to miss the cut. Okay. Um, all right. So there, there we have it. We're going to be heavy on our guys. Uh, this has worked out pretty well when we've done this yeah. last, guys. So, so hopefully we can get it again from that little 12, whatever the between sheets and I, the 10 golfers we named. Um, let's make, let's make some money this weekend and I will post my core plays, uh, when tomorrow and I will, uh, post my early builds and stuff tomorrow. Couple of, one other, one other note, um, for those of you guys, I'm just catering to people that are watching these for the first time, because listen, this is like really the second main PGA tournament since we got started again. Yep. And so, you know, if you go to true DFS and you want to get like projections, there's, you get like, you get like three different sets of projections. Like, like you could subscribe to SaberSim and you can get the SaberSim projections. Or we have Goldie, who does like a full aggregate projection model from like the entire industry. Um, and he puts it up there. And then I have my own set of projections that I put up there. So there's pl plenty of information uh, as far as getting projections go. And then if you want to build enemy lineups, you can use either our lineup builder or you could use uh, SaberSim uh, to build lineups as well. There's pl plenty, plenty, of, plenty of ways to, uh, to utilize our tools to help you build some good lineups. Yep. Um, and... Uh, We'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, again, I'm, I'm I'm hoping. Actually, can I do a Friday cut sweat? I don't know. It's usually usually a tough time of the day. But, yeah. Uh, but maybe uh maybe maybe how about a Sunday like down the stretch to win three hundred thousand sweat? That that would be nice. That would be nice. And you know we have no football this Sunday, so that's correct. But also what else are we gonna do? All right. All right. Well, good luck. Um, good luck, everybody. And uh, hopefully somebody can take something down this weekend. We'll uh, see you guys in Discord.